Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time, we finished up Hikari's Chapter 1 story in which his kingdom is fallen to ruins after his brother killed the king because his brother is hungry for power. I guess is now King Mugen. Hungry for power. He pinned Hikari as a traitor and so now he's run away. He's gonna hope to look for some allies. Kazan being the first one he wants to look at. But of course there might be other people like Raimei I'm guessing might join the fray. But anyways, that's what happens there. And we also made our way to Cropdale to see if we can add Agni to our party. She is the dancer of the game. She is the dancer, which means... I mean, she's not... Dancers are not really good in my opinion. So we'll see how good she is. Uh, but off camera, I beat up this poor fella over here. <laughs> and we got we have a few moves so Hikari's move I wanted good thwacking so now he can he has a staff move so he can do staff damage he can now do axe damage with mining and he can actually even do lightning damage with lightning falls um, I searched a good number of people that we've encountered and yeah these seem to be some of the good ones so yeah we have uh, a lightning move which is really good so I think we cover all type. We have, we have, we have Particio who can use a fire move with Ember. We have Cassidy who can use ice, wind, light, and dark. Then we have Hikari who can use lightning. Also, Hikari and Cassidy can both learn a new skill. So with Cassidy, I'm probably gonna go with uh, sweeping cleave. Well, doing poison and having uh, healing, two extra healing on Alex is nice. Um, having an AoE axe move is really good at figuring out uh, weaknesses, breaking shields with a, a lot of group of enemies. Hikari, I want to learn, I think I want to learn Abide. While Vengeful Blade does seem good because of counter and it breaks shields, I think Abide gives me extra damage and now that I have a bunch of moves, I can do more damage. And a physical attack also probably increases his, his, um, his lightning skill moves. We also have a, a equip skills, uh, support skills. So now we have, after we learn two skills for Cassidy, we have Vigorous Victor. Restores 30% HP, of, H, uh, 30 of HP and SP upon winning battle, which makes her really good at uh, recovery after every battle. Hikari has bolstering break, raise the equip uh, physical attack when breaking enemy. I mean, that's super good too. If we, if we make sure we break the enemy with Hikari, Breaking the enemy with Hikari would make him so that he does uh, more physical damage following turn. Anyways, that's it for now. I forgot to set up the timer. Uh oh. Hold up. Let me get a timer for this episode. And let's start Agni's story. I think we have to talk with this light. Curse of Hope. Yeah, this. I think this is how we start uh, her story here. How do you drop a purse like that? Thank you so much for finding it. Agni, Ugh. what are you doing? Ah! Bula! I overheard the whole thing. You dropped your purse. What would have happened if this kind stranger hadn't picked it up? Why do these people sound like Southern American, I, like Patricia? <laughs> uh, you can be so careless sometimes, Agni. And why is Agni spelled differently <laughs> when Say, Paula says it? Traveler, aren't you? Think you could take my sister with you? But what? She may act like a right fool sometimes, but she can do anything she sets her mind to. Yes, I'm very looking forward you for my mind dagger knowing damage. she's not alone out there. So thank you kindly. Well, I didn't agree to anything. Well, I didn't agree hey, to this. <laughs> Bula. Well, now, my name's Agnia. I'm a dancer on a journey to become a star. And um, now that I think about it. 
I never got to thank you for earlier. This must be fate. Would it be alright for me to join your travels? Alright, it's Agnea. Agnea, not Agnea. That was Agnea, but Agnea. That makes sense. Thank you so much. Agnea, join the party. Sure, let's begin the tale. Actually, it's very interesting because Particio's tale, he's kind of chilling. Kind of chilling. We don't have uh, Cassie's tale, which seems a little bit more serious because there seems to be something going on with Heir's Apothecary. And also very serious with all that stuff going on. And then we have Hikari's story, which seems incredibly serious because there's war happening. And then we have Agnes. Agnea's story, which comes back to, you know, she's chilling. She just wants to be a good dancer. <laughs> so yeah, let's hear it out. Let's hear it out. Stars. Stars are a symbol of hope. They bring smiles to people's faces. That's right. To think our village is home to a future star. We're all rooting for you, kid. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Why don't we call it a night? I doubt you'll be doing much more dancing after that. Uh, I can keep going. Agnea's saving for her journey to stardom. She's been working hard in this little tavern to earn whatever coin she can. I take it everyone here's prepared their tips for our dear dancer? Sure have. It's all yours, Agnea. You're the best, Agnea. Let's toast to our future star! You're all too kind. Now go on, Agnea. Those tips won't collect themselves. I remember Agnea's uh, thing now. Oh my gosh, the way she runs. I remember Agnea's story now. She is, um, what's it? She wants clout. I remember. She wants to be a famous dancer. Ah, okay, yeah. Hikari saving the world from his evil brother. Agnea wants to become a star. <laughs> I remember now. Okay. No need to be shy, Agnea, you can go on and collect those tips. At night, you can entreat people for their belongings. Uh-huh. So at night time, we can steal possessions. <laughs> entreat a, a talent person for their things. Can't if the uh, level's too low. Isn't this a little too much? can't explain it, but whenever I see you dance, I feel lighter than air the next day. Uh -huh. So I'm more than happy to give you what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Agnea making dope. 
I still tried to auto autograph the AP. Your dancing was as beautiful as always, Agnia. I'm looking forward to your next show. I think I'll bring my friends next time. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> I can't wait to see you then. Thank you so much, everyone. It's us who should be thanking you, Agnia. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Now to clean this place up. Oh, don't worry about that. You must be exhausted. I'm fine. Besides, this won't take long. Thanks for staying to clean up. It's the least I can do after you let me dance in your stage. Say, Agnia, did you manage to get all the leaves you need? <laughs> Almost. Just 1,000 more to go. Then I'll finally have the 10,000 leaves I need. Ever since we were little, You've been saying that you'd save up and leave the village to become a star. That's right. What's this? It's exactly 1,000 leaves. For you. Uh, but, but, uh, why are you giving me so much? <laughs> Seems I shocked the fancy accent right out of you. Oh! I know you've been working hard to talk like city folk for when you make it big. You're really something, Agnia. You never gave up on your dream. Consider it my tip. It's my way of cheering you on. Thank you, Gus. <laughs> you finally did it. Tomorrow's festival will be my last chance to see you dance. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It'll be my best one yet. I'm already looking forward to it. It's dark out. Get home safe, Agnia. Good guy, Gus. What a, what a, what, what, what a good guy. Did you forget something? Star Castle. Be extra careful on your way home. Uh huh. Is Gus our br our brother? Like, are we siblings, or is he uh, just someone I knew when I was young? Not sure. But Agnia managed to get a thousand leaves. A thousand, or not a thousand leaves. Uh, ten thousand leaves because he wants to leave home and be a star. Uh huh. I see. I don't exactly know how this story is. Gonna develop from here? <laughs> Kinda curious. I mean there's a few ways it can develop, but I'll see how they do it. I'm home! Oh, welcome home, Agni. You were working late tonight again. I'm sorry. I'll cook dinner right away. <laughs> I finally have enough money. Really? So that means... <laughs> Papa! Dinner's ready. Come and eat while it's hot. Mm. Papa, do you remember our promise? You said I could go on my journey if I made 10,000 leaves with my dancing. Mm. Well, I did it. So I'm going on my journey, just like you promised I could. Then go. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces. Just like Mama. Mama. 
Are you prepared for what that means? I am. Mama was a star. She wrote her own songs and traveled the land, singing and dancing. Papa was a tailor. They met when he was making Mama's dresses. Mama wore them as she sang her heart out for the world to hear. Of course, Paula and I went everywhere with her. But those happy days were short-lived. Mama was so focused on making people smile that she never noticed how ill she was until it was too late. After some time, Mama went on one final journey, and this time to a place we couldn't follow. Ever since then, Papa's opposed my dream. My dream of following in Mama's footsteps. <sighs> Mama. Step is a difficult dance. But you can do whatever you set your mind to. Agnia, I want you to have this hairpin. Wear it and you'll feel like you can dance the night away. It's my lucky charm. Stars are a symbol of hope. They put smiles on people's faces. I know you can do it, Agnia. Someday, you'll be a star. I will, Mama. I missed it. Was it the red flower that she put on my head? <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Sun's up. Time to rise and shine. Nothing's gonna stop me today! Wake up, Paula! What? What in tarnation? What's the matter, Agni? It's morning! Breakfast time! It'll go cold if you wait too long! Now get out of bed! Morning already, huh? So, this is the last time I'll be eating your cooking for a while. I sure am gonna miss getting tasty meals handed to me. From tomorrow on, it'll be your turn. Hmm, I think I'm finally starting to see how amazing you are, Agni. Better late than never, I suppose. So, what are you doing today? Helping out with the festival? I'm going into the woods to gather raspberries. We'll need as many as we can get for the town's famous raspberry pies. I'll be helping Gus and the others with the heavy lifting. You'd get more work done than a half dozen men. Rounding them up is more the problem. <laughs> I can't imagine rounding them up will be a problem with your talents. My talents? 
You are a dancer after all. I'm sure men and women alike would gather around if you put on a little show. P Paula, just listen to what you're saying. I'd look like a right fool if I used my dancing for something like that. Oh, Agni, you can be so naive. Talents like yours are made to be flaunted. Thanks for breakfast, Agni. Wait up! Paula! Talents, huh? In any case, I ought to make my way over to the festival. I see, so Paula calls Agni a Agni. Got it, I'm coming back in. Hmm, I'm busy. Uh-huh, well we see kind of, I mean we kind of got the whole backstory of Agni, huh? <laughs> we got the whole backstory. It's all, it's all there, it's all there. Um, I mean what else is there to say? Oh, I was gonna say, I, sw I think Paula probably gonna get eaten. Probably gonna get eaten in the forest and then we have to help save her. I mean, come on. Forest path, it's telling me to go here. I'm guessing her talent is gonna be similar to Particio's talents of how he can kind of gather people to his party. I think Agnia can like do the same thing. everyone's having a good time. Now for the final preparation. Agnia, today this stage will be all yours. It's wonderful! I can't wait to start the show. Speaking of which, we have a couple more big pieces to add. Would you mind finding me a few helping hands? Leave it to me. All right, day, Agnia can allure town people to follow her. <clears throat> Again, alluring, very similar to, I think. Hey, Agnia. Say you look around festival together? Sorry, but the food's not ready yet. Still got some cooking to do. Everyone sit down and enjoy the show. We're saving the best for last. Thank you, Agnia. Sort of nervous. I don't know if I can dance like this. Well, let's not ask a girl to help. Let's maybe ask. Hello? Good night. Space bar? Oh, wait, I have to ask. Okay, wait. <laughs> If people down here. So allure, yeah, this is exactly what Primrose had. I guess let's allure him. Alluring is based off of chance, yeah, exactly. Use your wiles to charm the and lead towns people around. If you fail your reputation will suffer. So yeah, this isn't based on money. Watch me shine. Hiring is Hiring for Particio costs money, but alluring, there's like a chance. I don't think we've had anything that was a chance yet. So this is the first time we have something that's a chance um, for a talent. And yeah, it's the same way. We can have him do damage. We can have him we can basically summon him in battle. You sure round him up quick. Similar to Particio. Keep up the good work. Will do. I'll see who else I can wrestle up. Repeat talent, but also similar to... We also had, I guess, a repeat talent with Inquire because uh, Cassie's Inquire is the same as Hikari's Bribe. So there's a repeat talent there. But here we go. Come on now. <laughs> Shall we? Mm hmm. I also want to talk about Primrose, but I don't know if we have a chance to talk about it. Uh, her currently, but yeah, we have some time. I just want to kind of compare and contrast the dancer roles of this game and last game because dancer in last game is, in my opinion, a little bit different from dancing in this game. I appreciate the help, Hagnia. <laughs> Happy to be of service. <laughs> Seems like none of them have an ear for what I have to say. Asking you was the right choice. Agnia! Gus, is something...
in the matter? Have you seen Paula? She went raspberry picking in the woods, but she ain't come back yet. What? And that's not even the worst of it. In the forest, I found a door door's hoof prints. Do you remember? That giant boar ravaged a whole village some years ago. It took the whole lot of us to drive him away. I might have caught the scent of the festival foods and scurried over, but... I have to find her! You can't be serious! Will you come with me, Gus? Uh, of course I will. You can count on me, Agnia. Thank you, Gus. But I sure would feel better if we had more company. Then I guess it's time to put my talents to use. Talents? How so? Oh, I thought we were supposed to- oh. We can have Gus. You know, times people are something on a China battle. Yeah. Interesting. It looks like- yeah, we have Gus in our party. So, it looks like we can actually have two people follow us. That's pretty good. Uh-huh. Looks like there's two ways to the forest. Are we gonna lure anybody else? I guess we could uh, allure somebody. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Do I have to? We were in a gust skill, huh? Chop wood, bottle toss, special brew. Huh. All right. Yeah, it looks like Agnia is dagger, <laughs> similar to Primrose, who is also just dagger. <laughs> I should have expected as much. Look at chop wood. Chop wood is pretty good. A tavern keeps gotta be strong. It's interesting. We're getting like these side characters to use. I wonder if we actually get to like have gust. Oh well, I probably could have allured a town person, but unlucky now. We're going to Vale of Trees. By the way, the same thing already happened. The whole thing about Paula getting, I guess, uh, what's it? Paula getting, um, I was caught by surprise. Paula getting kind of stuck in the forest. We've already seen something similar to this happen in the first game. <laughs> I am taking heck of damage. Oh yeah, what's her talent skills? Lion Dance and Ruinous Kick. Lion Dance probably buffs Gus. On my honor as a tavern king. Leave shot to me. No, we'll check that out after right this. I'll probably get a level up here. I do get a level up. Yeah, I don't Oops. Let's check. She has Lion Dance, physical attack of Al by two turns, and then Ruinous Kick, unleash a powerful physical attack on a single foe and reduce their skill point regardless of their weak point. Interesting. So if she doesn't have anything that can cover weakness, then we can use Ruinous Kick to cover weakness. And honestly, we're still doing good on time in this video, so I actually haven't even saved in like a while. I haven't saved in like over two hours, so we'll save there. And honestly, let's just get into the battle. We still have like a good amount of time left in this video, so. Hola! Hola! I think we should try to do this boss fight. Where are you, Paula? <gasps> what was that noise? Could it be? And he doesn't look too happy. I bet he's mighty hungry. Gus! Let's get out of here, Agnia. No. What? He's following. 
following the scent of the festival toward town. If we run now, he'll charge straight into the crowd. But I won't let that happen. I won't let him ruin everyone's fun. Come on, Agnia. Be reasonable. I'm not going anywhere. Don't tell me you're gonna fight this thing. Are you ready, Gus? We can do anything we set our minds to. Uh, I can't believe this. Let's go! Let's go, Gus! Do I have to? <laughs> Agnia th thirst for blood. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm ready for this fight. I'm not really that high leveled because I only fought one group of enemies and I did not allure anybody. So this might be bad. Okay, they are weak dagger and axe. Okay. What does that do? Snort? Does damage to both of us? Do we have any items? We do have some items. Uh, okay, I'm going to use dagger here. I'm going to use axe here. We're gonna axe door door question here. And then we'll lion dance Gus here. I will protect the festival. She just said that lion. I wonder if they have special lions for every battle they do. That would be really cool. Chop wood here. Some extra damage. Dancer skill. Uh, let's just normal attack here. I am pretty low on health. Okay. We can axe. Do I have to? We can dagger axe. It's my turn now. We can double dagger here actually. And then axe here. And then we can full boost. Oh yeah, I should probably use that normal speed. Oh my normal speed wood chop. Chop wood, I should say. And then maybe we'll take this turn to heal up Agnia. I'll use this. Mm-hmm. This is pretty good. Normal attack on Gus. Gus can survive another hit. Dora looks agitated. That no good. Time to shine. Yes. I am like not do doing I any damage to... to this guy, by the way. I probably do want to go ahead and use an item on Gus. Because I might be taking a lot of damage right here. Bore Rush. 163. Oh my goodness. And Speed now Race. Then. I think we have to boost this here. Do some damage. Because he has buffed attack now, so Agnia could be defeated in one hit. But I don't have any more. I don't have that much healing grace left. I guess I could defend. Hmm. This isn't looking that good. Does Gus have any healing skills? Bottle Toss. I wonder what that does. Special Brew. I don't know what these do. Special Brew does seem like it can heal, so I might need to heal Agni at this turn. This should do the trick. I owe you one. Okay, it does heal a little bit. And SP resource SP. I didn't know that. It's my turn now. Attack. Okay. Yes. I'm like doing no damage to this guy. Snort. Okay. I think we want a dagger here. <laughs> I should have expected as much. Then ask them a question. And Agnia maybe lion dance on Gus. I'm just doing like yeah, their health isn't even at the yellow point. Which makes me worried. Alright, hopefully I'm halfway done through this good guy's health, but I don't have that much healing options. I know left. you're upset because of your empty belly. So I'm sorry. But I can't let you go through here. I'll give you some nuts to eat later. So be a good boy until then. Uh-huh. Land power, I'll call for help, please. Oh, oh my gosh, this just got harder. She does have her latent talent. Available now, but this is going to be hard because there's enemies around. Uh, 
Ruinous kick just to break shield, maybe? Forgive me. This is my chance. Her lane skill is short. <laughs> I should have expected as much. So. Oh gosh. I need to maybe use an inspiring pump bomb on Gus. This will help. But my health is pretty low. So let's see what this lane count does. Uh, unleash Agnia's lane power. Extend the reach of single target skills to all. Oh, I see. This is what it means to be a star. So basically, ruining this kick hits everything. Well, let's charge it up. Does this break shield three times? Forgive me. Sorry. No, only one time. We were able to get rid of <laughs> that guy. I should have expected as much. It's pretty good. The boar acts twice, and if the boar acts twice on the same person, that person dies. So it's very important that I actually heal here. Um, I. Yeah, I guess I'll try to heal Agnia here. Don't give up. Yes. But there's a possibility that Gus dies here. Okay, well, that that's a lot of damage. Her lane power is already charged, which is nice. Uh, I need a turn of respite, so I might use this. But Agnia is dead next turn. Uh, let's do this. I guess I didn't need to do it three times. Because we have our latent power here. Maybe we use runes kick on everybody. Hopefully just defeats the, the enemy there. Okay, it does. Do I have to Uh I'm out of items. I should have brought more items, huh? <laughs> uh we have all those of life that we can uh revive Agnia if when she goes down. Or we can use special brew. I think we should probably use our special brew on Agnia here. This should do the trick. Now then. And then she can go ahead and use dagger. Heavy snort. Okay. Four looks agitated. We have we have four actions that we can use to break shield. So it's quite a lot of actions, honestly. We can use more of a gust skill for more healing. This should do the trick. And then we can go ahead and use do I have to more healing. Okay, I figured out how I cannot die this battle. I don't want to use an olive of life. But then we can use this to break shield. And then we can even push in a little bit of damage here. I think I want to push in damage. Uh huh. And then Agnia. Then. Yeah, I'll just attack here. Maybe I should have used Ruinous Kick actually for extra damage. Oh, for for berries, no, don't heal for 200 healing. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Okay, maybe we should be using Ruinous Kick for extra damage. Yeah, it does do a bit do of extra damage. To? Okay, Axe. Whimper. I am concussed. Okay. It's fine because we do have. We can break shield this turn. Let's do it. Agnia is still unconscious. Okay. Doesn't really matter if I use lane power here because I don't think I can boost my damage. Oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, no. Uh. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up. All right. I, uh, it was. It was a scam call. Hopefully, my ringtone did not cause a uh, copyright strike on my video. Forgive me. All right, I did a pretty good amount of damage. Oh Hopefully, this clears. Witch chop here. If not, Agnia might die next. Turn. It did. Okay, we were able to clear it. We did use three healing items, but I think we figured it out in the end there. 
We got Empire Inspiring Plum Blast Basket. We did it! You really can do whatever you set your mind to, Agnea. I couldn't have done it without you, Gus. I'm glad. You protected the festival and everyone smiles along with it. Agnea. But where's Paula? Agni, that you? Paula! What happened? I heard this loud noise and... Did, did you do that, Agni? This little village really is too small for you. Where were you, Paula? We were so worried. There weren't any berries around here, so I had to go deeper into the woods. I'm sorry. That's a lie. Look at all those berries behind us. Don't be. I'm just glad you're all right. So what say we get back to the village? We've got a festival to attend. Are you sure you can dance like that, Agni? Your dress is all dirty. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Papa! Uh, we're back. Your dress is tattered. Uh, well, a lot happened, you see. But I can still dance in this. I don't want to keep everyone waiting. Um. Wait. Mm hmm? What's that? It's too dark to see clearly. Mm. I think Papa wants to give you something. You know how he is, Agni. You'd best go to him instead. I suppose you're right. Entreat Papa! <laughs> go, see, Papa, I think Papa got something to say. Mm. Alright, steal his items. Mama's dress. Oh my gosh. He, he took it off her dead body. <laughs> this is. Mama's dress. I altered it for you. Papa! I'm sure you ruined those clothes, helping somebody out. Just like your mother used to. Papa. You're right. A star's supposed to put smiles on people's faces. <clears throat> Go, Agnia. Everyone's waiting. We've been waiting for you, Agnea. It's not a festival without your dancing. Thank you, everyone. This dance is for you. With all my heart.
The festival continued until the sunrise. The next morning. Morning, Paula. Morning, Agni. It's almost time for you to go, isn't it? Everyone's waiting at the village entrance. They can't let you leave without saying goodbye. I suppose I shouldn't keep them waiting. Alright, well, usually I'll end the video here, but I, we're so close to being done with this quest, I might just end it here. Or I might, uh, not end it here, I might just continue until we get to the end of the quest. Go show her what you can do, Agni. Then yeah, I think we'll just continue until the end of the, uh, the quest, the end of the chapter. I got everything I need with my earnings. So it's time for me to set out on my journey. Still can't believe you're leaving, Agni. Happy for her, ain't we? That's right. You brought happiness to everyone in this village. So it's only right that we send you off with a smile. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Agnia, you better not come back here till you're a star. You got that? When I do, I hope you'll still let me dance at your tavern. Oh, Agni! I'll take care of the house for you. You don't have to worry about a thing. I know I can count on you, Paula. Just like your mother. Thank you. That was Mama's song. But someday, I'll have a song of my own. One that'll make the whole world smile. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You too, Papa. I'd best be on my way now. Thank you, everyone! Thank you! Good luck, Agnia! And so, Agnia leaves her hometown behind. With sparkling eyes and a heart full of hope, she embarks on a journey to make her dream come true. Her dream of becoming a star. A shining beacon who lights up faces wherever she goes. But there is no telling where the road will lead her. Agnia the Dancer Chapter 1 End A shorter one, definitely a shorter one, but there we go, we got it done. I'm a great dancer. You won't regret this. Uh-huh. Add all the leaves and things. So yeah, we finally have a full party of four. So we have maximum number of, I guess, resources available to us in battle. Which is good. We... I mean... Hey! Wait just a little bit of longer video, Ryan, because there's still a few things I think we want to look at here. Which is Agnia's, uh, her job skill. Let's see what dancers can do. Peacock strut, raise element to attack. Sweeping gale, wind damage. Okay, so she does wind damage. Stimulate, move a single ally's action up one spot. This could be really good if you want to break shields a certain turn. Uh, we ha I haven't seen a skill like this before, so this is pretty good. Dagger dance, unleash a dagger attack on all foes. And Bewildering Grace, it, it, the RNG move. <laughs> it's an RNG move and it costs 25 SP. I'm really liking the Stimulate. I, I want to see... I probably should unlock Dagger Dance first. <laughs> just because uh, it's good 
too for like shield coverage and stuff like that. But hey, that's pretty good. And we finally again we have our full team. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about of uh, Agnia as a dancer. I think the dancing is very similar to um, or the dancing role has been changed a lot because in the first game, well, Primrose was the dancer of the first game. Well, she did have a whole dancing scene. If you guys, well, if you played it, then you, you maybe you remember the whole dancing scene she has in her first chapter. And if you haven't played it, well, spoilers, there's like a kind of a big dancing scene that Primrose has. But to be honest, Primrose isn't really much of a dancer. <laughs> the, the, we, we saw that allure talent, that allure talent that Agnia has uh, in daytime. Well, I think Allure definitely is more of the vibe that Primrose is going for. Cause she, she, I don't really think, I wouldn't really consider Primrose fully a dancer. I feel like a little bit something else. But yeah, there we go. Uh, we have unlocked basically a lot of stories. So after this, I think I want to check out, I just want to do a little bit of exploring. Um, there is like a bunch of places that we can explore, which I'll probably do off camera. Uh, anything over level danger level 10, I probably will avoid. So I'll probably only check out the, the low danger levels here. Uh, yeah, around here. I might do some exploration off camera. I probably won't encounter any big cities. I'll probably just clear out the areas that we have been to collect chests. Probably talk with a bunch of people and see if they have anything interesting to give us. And maybe I'll make a video out of that, maybe I won't, but next time, again, maybe we'll do a little bit of exploration, a little bit of job, um, like searching for jobs, doing uh, maybe some world quest. But then after that, I think we are going to start unlocking other characters. I definitely think we want to, oh, and then we can see, uh, I guess, Agnia second chapter is where uh, Thorne is, and then I guess Casty's second chapter here was Hikari's second chapter is in Crestland. So yeah, everybody's second chapter is on this other side. So yeah, again, my plan is to maybe do a filler episode where we'll do certain uh, questing, but then yeah, we want to go ahead and unlock Ochet, and then I'll probably unlock um, Thorne, and then we'll go ahead and unlock um, Tenemos. And then we'll unlock uh, Oswald. And after that, we'll just restart everything. We'll, we'll do Particials first, our Chapter 2 story. And then we'll do, you know, um, Casty's Chapter 2. Do Hikari's Chapter 2. And then we'll do Agnia's Chapter 2. And then we'll just go back. We'll just go back over here. We'll go back over here and we'll do some quests over in the other side. And then I'm also looking, uh, there is like some, the secret of commerce that Particio can do. I'm kind of interested in what that means, secret of commerce over here as well. So we'll definitely do those before we do Particio's chapter 2. That being said though, I think there is another secret of commerce down here too. Oh wait, Casty's level 2 chapter is there too? Wait, wait, what is this then? I thought this was Casty, Casty's level 2 chapter. What? There's two of them? Chapter 2, Casty, Chapter 2, Winter Bloom. Casty, Chapter 2, Cyroot. Okay. Ah, uh, there seems to be a lot, a little bit more than just simple chapters. Ah, uh, but indeed, there you go. Anyways, that has been it for me. Thank you so much for watching. You're beautiful the way you are. And next time, we'll continue with more Octopath Traveler 2.